Hello and welcome to my video where I'm going to be comparing ChatGPT versus Canva Magic Write. The cool thing about both of these is they come with the ability to use them for free. If you check out the links in the description, I will leave a link for not only Canva, but also ChatGPT. Let's begin. So when it comes to this comparison, I'm just going to utilize an outline and create content based upon it. And I'm going to use the same prompts for both of them just so we can compare it. Before I get to it, I want to let you know that both of these are great. I've used a lot of them both times, many times. I have plenty of tutorial videos. So I'm guessing that even when I show you this, the quality is going to be just right up with each other very even. So what I have right here is write me an outline for an article called the two best tips for new online business owners. The Canva magic, right? It's pretty easy. Let's say I wasn't doing this. You would click on the plus. You would go to magic, right? You would enter in your prompt and you're good to go. But here's a little shortcut. If you have something you already want to utilize, you highlight it, do the same thing here. And of course, you hit enter and you're going to be good to go. Give it a few seconds. All right, cool. So there we have it. Introduction, briefly discuss the challenges of starting an online business, preview the two tips that will be covered, focus on a niche market. I'm just going to go over the other tip, build an engaged audience through content marketing. And then of course we have conclusion. Okay. So let's go on over here. Chat GPT is even easier. You don't need to highlight anything. You don't need to put it in a new specific box. You just write it, hit enter, and then go from there like this. All right, cool. So there we have it. Introduction and tip number one, build a strong online presence, prioritize customer experience and conclusions. So what I'm going to do is start writing specific sections for each of these. I may not do all of them because once you do the beginning, you're going to understand how it works. Let's go back over here. So what I want to do next is going to be an introduction. So how about this? I'm going to write it here. All right, so there we go. Write me an introduction for the article with the title, briefly discuss the challenges of starting an online business. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do magic, right? should be there. Let's hit enter and see what we get. All right. So it can be an exciting venture, but it can also come with its own set of challenges. As a new online business owner, it's important to navigate the competitive landscape of e-commerce and establish a strong online presence. In this article, we'll cover the two best tips for new online business owners to help you overcome these challenges and set your business up for success. Pretty good, simple, exactly what we we're looking for. I'm just going to copy this prompt and I'm going to go over here and utilize this. I know this might be a little bit different, but uh, anyway, let's go and hit paste. All right, so very similar, a little bit more. So it can be exciting and fulfilling, but it comes with a fair share of challenges. You may find yourself struggling to stand out in a crowded marketplace, attract and retain customers, and establish a strong online presence. However, with the right tips and strategies, you can overcome these challenges and achieve success in the world of online business. In this article, we will share two best tips for new online business owners to help you build a strong foundation for your business and increase your chance of success. Chances. So overall, we got a little bit more here. I'd say I like this one a little bit better. It has a few more uh, good words, I guess you could say, or related words like with this right here. It talks about struggling, attracting and retaining customers and a strong online balance and so on and so forth. I just happen to like that one, but either way, they are both pretty good. Next, we're going to do say tip number one, focus on a niche market. So allow me to write a prompt for that. And as you can see, what we're going to be doing here is doing one for this, this and the outro. I'm probably not going to do all of them, but that's the idea is that once you have your outline, you create content for each specific section. All right, so write a paragraph about focusing. Oops, let me uh, highlight this and go to magic right. Focusing on a niche market when getting started with your online business, let's hit enter. It can be a smart strategy by targeting a specific group of people with specific needs or interests. You can create a more tailored and personalized experience for your customers and so on and so forth. Skimming through looks pretty good. I'm gonna use that same prompt here. So we have our intro. This is gonna be our first section, right? So wrote a little bit more as well, which is cool. That's something I guess you could favor with ChatGPT. It tends to write a little bit more at a time. I also have the plus edition. I'm not, I don't think that affects it, but just throwing that out there. Uh, instead of trying to appeal to everyone, targeting a specific group of people with a particular interest or need can help stand out in a crowded marketplace. That's of course, yeah. By specializing in a niche, you can create products or services that specifically cater to the needs and desires of your target audience. This allows you to establish yourself as an expert, so on and so forth. Once again, I'd say this one is a little bit better. This one is good, like, but this one, I think a little bit more adds a little bit more oomph to it, and which is good. But for example, let's say we want to write more. We can do that in both of these. All right, so let's go with this one first. Continue writing more about the previous paragraph. Talk about more benefits of specializing in a niche. So on talks about some benefits. It can be easier and more cost effective to market to a specific niche than a broad audience. And wow, this thing is really going. A lot of content there. I'm not going to go through all. Uh, let's see, you can tailor your messages. 
let's see, can help you build a stronger brand. It can be more easily identified and address pain points or challenges to specific customers. So you can always pause that if you want to read it. I don't want to take forever reading these longer paragraphs, but we can actually do the same thing. So if we highlight this and do magic right, and what I want to do is the same thing. Continue writing more about the previous paragraph. Talk more about talk about more benefits of specializing in a niche. Let's see what we get. Specializing in a niche can also make it easier to create targeted marketing campaigns that speak directly to your ideal customer by understanding their specific pain points and desires and so on and so forth. Uh, I can provide opportunities for collab. So once again, this is right on. Uh, the differences here, once again, is that ChatGPT is capable of creating so much more content at once, as we can see. With that, I would say this is a little bit better. The quality is both great, but I think ChatGPT wins here given the fact that it's clearly capable of producing a lot more content at once. So that would be the process when you go back and forth. We would go to the next tip, do the same process. Then of course the conclusion, you know, whatever it's going to be. I think you get the idea of creating it. I'm just more so looking to compare the quality and how it works. Overall quality is both great. Chad GBD just has a little bit more when it comes to writing and more oomph. And with that, it definitely gets the edge in terms of the amount of content it can create at once. But overall, allow me to just pretty much compare ChatGPT and Canva. You saw them in use. I always like talking about some of the reasons why you might want to use one or the other, as opposed to like this one's just better because whatever the reason is. So let's talk about ChatGPT first. What are going to be some of the reasons why you might want to use this? Well, first and foremost, it does come with a free plan. I know Canva does too as well, but it's going to be pretty limited. For this, the, the biggest thing you're going to have to worry about is that there's so much traffic to it that a lot of times you have to wait. You can only create so much content per hour. I've done this many times myself where I go to create videos and it's like, well, now I got to wait because I use too much too quickly. So that's going to be something to keep in mind. You'll probably also want to use ChatGPT if you you plan on creating a lot more content, it's going to be harder to do whether you're using the Canva free or paid plan because you're limited to a specific amount of prompts or creations or curies uh, per month, which so there's going to be some limit to that. So I think that's going to be some of the reasons why you might want to use ChatGPT. If you did want to upgrade, it is going to be $20 per month, which I have right now. It says available when demand is high faster response speed and priority access to new features. I am just throwing that out there in case you're not aware of it. So those are going to be some of the biggest reasons to utilize ChatGPT. As we talked about, it seems that when you utilize a prompt, you're capable of getting much more content in the long run based upon it. So that could also be a plus. Now, on the other hand, some of the reasons why you might want to use Canva Magic, right? It's, once again, it is simple to use, very simple process. You have to do like a couple more clicks, but so I think one of the biggest reasons why you might want to use Canva Magic Write, which you might not have thought of, is the fact that if you're going to be using Canva Pro, where you can utilize more queries per month, is the fact that you get so many features with it. It's, it's kind of hard to compare Canva Magic Write with ChatGPT and just like leave out everything else that Canva has to offer. For example, if you're taking a look at Canva here, obviously we have the free aspect. I do want to let you know that if you go for Canva free, you only get 25 curies with Canva Magic Write. If you upgrade, you get 75 curies per month when it comes to Canva Magic Write, which in my opinion, I think they could have more. But one of the biggest benefits about it is that you also get everything with Canva Pro and that can't be overlooked. So I think one of the biggest reasons why you might want to use Canva and Canva Magic Write is that if you're looking for Canva Pro, you got a lot going on for there. Not only do you get the ability to create all these social media posts, social media content, YouTube thumbnails, you know, there's uh, all the premium templates, which are right here. There's plenty of those, which are excellent. I've done videos on those. I think that's going to be one of the biggest reasons to use it, especially if you're going with Canva Pro, is because you get so much more. While chat GPT might allow you to create more content at once, uh, overall more content, you know, per day or, you know, per hour, whatever you're going to be doing it. I think Canva really has the leg up because they come with so much more at the same time. And that's something that should definitely be mentioned because you get a whole lot more than just what chat GPT has to offer, which is the ability to create great content. And that's good. So that's going to be the reason why I think you might want to use Canva, especially if you're going with Canva Pro. Not only do you get Canva Magic right, you get so much more. I have a feeling that if you're looking to utilize uh, an AI for any type of marketing purposes or articles or blogs, you're also going to like what else Canva Pro has to offer. So that's going to be my comparison when it comes to ChatGPT versus Canva Magic right, and of course what Canva has to offer. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And of course, I will have links down below. Both of these allow you to get started for free and test them out, whether it's going to be Canva and ChatGPT. And they both have their upgrades if you're going to be needing them. Thank you so much for watching. My name is James and I'll see you in my next video.